Yeah, uh, did you check it? I got it. Make 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 it. What kind of question? Well, like how you felt during the race, what got you interested in running, things like that. Just relax. I will. Raver, can you come here a second? Yeah. Bring it to you over here, please. Raver, are you all set? Wait on camera, too. You got the four minutes? This one? No, the four minutes. Just relax. Only 40 million people watching. What got you interested in running? interested in running. Now get up, John. Hey, John. Oh, hi, Dad. Hey. How'd you do? I did good. Hey, all right. It's five nights in a row, isn't it? Yeah. There you are. See, you got it made. All you got to do is keep it up. See you at breakfast, okay? Don't drink your juice standing up. Sorry. The father tells me he had another dry night. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I think you'd be happier than just an uh-huh. Well, aren't you happy about it? Yeah. Well, I think so. Not for yourself, for me. It's up enough for a mother to clean up after a baby, but when a boy's going on 13 Hello, years old... Hello, coffee. Well... Nine more days of your birthday, you're going to be sleeping in a bed as big as mine, huh? Mm. I still think that's a mistake. Well, we already discussed it. I know, and I still say it's a mistake. Two weeks doesn't mean anything. Well, it means a lot to him. Now, John promised to be dry, so I think the least we can do is to keep our promise. Well, he still has seven days left. I better get going. You got over an hour. Mm, but we got practice today. That is every morning this week. Well, it's good for the boys, you know. It's not going to do any harm. Anyway, how much money? 
I wish they'd be as conscientious about their schoolwork. And make sure you don't lose that bag. No. You could say goodbye. Bye. Do you think you could just give him a little bit of encouragement? What? I mean, you got such a negative attitude. Five nights is a big thing to him. You know how much he wants that bed? Oh, don't start on that again. I think you've blown the importance of that bed completely out of proportion. I don't think I have. Do you know he never has his friends up in his room? So? Because he's embarrassed to have him see that little bed. Well, he ought to be more embarrassed by the fact that he wets it. Now, the bed thing is your idea, so when it doesn't work, I'll just let you take care of the sheets. I better go to work. See you later. after school a couple of times. You go so fast, I couldn't catch up. Oh. Uh, you're new here, aren't you? We just moved here a week ago. We live on Collins Avenue, 103. Yeah? Well, we live next door, uh, 111. What's your name? Uh, John. John Curtis. Mine's Nancy Rizzi. Oh. Walk slower going home. Yeah. Yeah? Is that all you're having? Yes, ma'am. I'm not hungry. Ten cents. You should have a better lunch. I suppose. Fifty cents. You gotta be kidding. Is that all you're eating? No, I'm not hungry. Ah, we haven't been hungry for a week. Sure you don't have a clue or something? No, no, I'm just not hungry. Tough good. Yeah. Well, I'll have it next week. Hey, what did Miss Holland say? About what? About being late. Second time this week. Did she give you a note? What did your mom say? No. My mom gets so mad, can't believe it. Yeah, not mine. My dad usually takes care of it. Oh, yeah, we got practice for the game tomorrow. Hey, yeah, that's right. Eight o'clock. You guys want to sleep over? You ask your mom? She don't care. As long as you make your own breakfast, Bob wouldn't wake up on Saturday. I'll come over after supper. Hi. Right. How about you, Jono? Oh, no. No, I can't. I promised my dad I'd go bowling with him tonight. He gets a kick out of it, you know. My parents are going out. We can go off real late. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. The same. See, who even goes by a chance to eat? Well, we'll see you in Crazy Miss King class. Pretty glad it's Friday. Yeah. I'll be on about 8 o'clock, okay? Yeah. Okay, see ya.
You have exactly 11 minutes more. How do you think you did on the test? Well, pretty good, I think. Not me. I think I got halfway through the dumb thing. Hey, uh, you sure you can't come over tonight? Uh, uh, yeah, like I said, I promised my dad. I'll right. see you guys. I gotta go. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, How about you? Pretty good, too. Except for the dates. I just can't remember them. Yeah, me neither. Except for 1492 and 1776. Sometimes it helps if you work on them with somebody. You know, quiz each other and stuff. Oh, yeah. My mother's always busy and my pa's always too tired. Yeah, mine too. I guess we could do it together. I mean, if you didn't mind. Oh, well, yeah, sure. When? Uh, when? Well, this weekend, maybe. Saturday? Well, I got a game Saturday. After supper, maybe. Well, okay. After supper, Saturday. <clears throat> well, good luck in the game. Yeah. Yeah, well, we'll win them, that's for sure. Well, I'll see you. See you. Uh, do you like football? Sure. Oh. Well, the game's at Knights Park. Ten o'clock. I know. I'm going. Oh. Well, in that case, uh, I, I guess I'll see you there. See ya. Yeah. See ya. Trash is out. Oh, what's the name of that song? Arnold? No. The song, the name. Uh, uh, Love and Bloom. Right. Oh, mind, now, here's your next one. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, may I have my allowance? You don't need it right this minute, is, do you? Is, is it I don't want to set the world on fire? No. Right. Oh. I knew that one. <laughs> I give it to you in the morning. Well, I can bring you in the corn jar. No, I told you, in the morning. You just leave that corn jar alone. Now, let me finish watching my show. Uh, I think I'll get a snack. No liquids. It's almost bedtime. I, I, I think I'll skip it. Good enough. Okay. Now, we're going to come back to it. We'll come back to that one. Now, try this one. Listen, Thelma. John! 
You're not taking any liquids, are you? Well, no, ma'am. Uh, I'm just putting my crackers away. I'm going to read for a little while. I want you to light up by nine. Yes, ma'am. Hey, John. Uh, Listen, I'll take you to the game tomorrow. I want to see this team you've been doing all the talking about. Oh, you don't have to, Dad. Well, I want to. Oh, oh, gosh, it's real early. And the practice is at eight and the game don't start till ten. Maybe it'd be better if you slept in and came over later for the game. You don't want me to see the practice. You huh? got it, Elma. Uh, yeah, sure. Now, we'll go it's just that... Well, well tomorrow's right, Saturday. Win. Maybe you'd like to sleep one in. I'll wake you up at 7 o'clock. for $1,000. Okay. Name uh, that tune. Uh, see you in the morning. See you in the morning. Is it uh, Deep Purple? That's right. Ah! That I was right. right. I was right. Arnold, I would want $1,000. Get up, John. Whoa, John. Hey. Seven o'clock. Um, morning, Dad. How'd you do? I did good. <sighs> oh, that's great. Six nights straight, huh? I told you you could do it, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Next Saturday, we're going to... You got a, you got a game next Saturday? Yeah. Yeah, what time? Well, it's the same, 10 o'clock. Okay, right after the game, we're going to go down to Gregory's and you're going to pick out your new bed. You got any bed you want in that store. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay. I'll tell you what else we're going to do. As long as we're down there. Don't say anything to your mother, okay? As long as we're there, we'll just pick out a little TV for you, huh? Keep it up here in the room, and then you and I can sit up here and watch the ball games. Good idea? Good idea. Okay. Get yourself dressed now. Keep your mouth shut. Proud of you. Oh, hey, Dad. I love you. Get shaking, will you? Come on, we got a game today.
Oh, boy, Curtis. All right, let's make it good. Out of the way, John. Out of the way, Johnny. Come on, Curtis. This game isn't over yet. Get back in there. Game. Yeah, it was great. The Giants got more 13-year-olds than the other team. Man, we'll slaughter the Giants next week. The Giants beat them 14 to nothing, and the Giants stink. <laughs> you guys played a good game. Yeah, well, we got the best team, Dad. We could have beat them worse than we did, even. Listen, 34 to 6 is beating them pretty good. <laughs> Some of those guys cried. Yeah. Well, nobody likes to lose, you know. Yeah, well, we're not going to lose. Right. I'll stop by the house. I'll tell your mom we're going to get hot dogs, okay? Great. I love them with everything on yeah, them. Yeah, same here. Hey, 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 two, four, six, six eight. eight. Who, Who do, do we, we appreciate? Ram, Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ram, Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Ram, Ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? John! I'll drive you guys home now, okay? That's okay, Mr. Curtis. We can walk. No, no trouble. No, thanks. We'll throw the ball around the way. We'll see you. Good game. the boy in his room is not punishment enough. He doesn't care about missing his dinner or staying in his room. He obviously doesn't care about wetting his bed or he wouldn't do it. The only thing he cares about is, is himself. His pride. Alice, the boy is hurt. He... Well, he should be hurt. He's hurt me long enough, hasn't he? First the bed, now the lying. Well, I've had enough. And what do you do? You just sit there. It's time you started to act like a father. If you were more of a man, maybe your son wouldn't act like a baby. Why do you have to start this? Because I'm tired, that's why. Tired of a weak son and a weaker husband. If I left it up to you, he'd wet the bed the rest of his life. And what do you expect me to do? Be a man. Go in that room and discipline the boy yourself for once. He feels bad enough now. You keep saying that. He does not. If he did, he'd stop. He, he's just lazy, that's all. Just too damn lazy to get up and use the toilet. Oh, what's the use? You're both just alike. Why did you lie? Huh? You told me you stopped. Now, why did you have to lie about it? Answer me! I don't know. Well, you'll think of one. I want an answer now. I just don't know. You don't know? Well, you better think of something. You better think of it fast, because I've been real easy on you, and I'm not going to do it anymore, you hear? Now, what your mother did today was right, and I'm going to see she keeps on doing it until you stop. You hear me? Till you stop. I'm talking to you. Do you hear me?
wish to hell I hadn't done that. Sorry. Did you say something? I said I'm sorry I hit him. I was wrong. Why? Why? Well, because I don't know why I did it. Obviously he did it because he deserved it. By the time you took a strong hand with him, maybe it'll snap him out of it. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know about putting that sheet out, though. It's gonna be hard on him. Hard for him or hard for you? And what's that supposed to mean? Are you more embarrassed for the boy or for yourself? It's that simple. Talk a lot of nonsense. I don't think it's nonsense. I think you're afraid. Afraid the neighbors might think you fathered a weak son. Stupidest thing I ever heard. And let's just go ahead and do it the way we discussed. All right? I saw the first half, and then I spilled grape juice on the road. My mom made me go to my room. Heck of a game. Did you see it? No. No, I didn't get to. It's great. Yeah, yeah, I bet it was. I wanted to see it, but I had to take this puppy down to the animal shelter. I didn't have time to tell you guys the other day. I had to hurry in the house, because, well, I knew my mom would be mad. See, I found this mutt, and... My folks said I could keep it if it didn't mess up. You know, the darn thing wasn't housebroken. And it jumped up on my bed and it, it really messed up. Yeah, I'll bet your mom was mad. <laughs> Just for a little while. I mean, the dog didn't mean it or nothing. Why didn't you keep him outside? I don't know. I thought he'd get run over. He was just a puppy, Donnie. Oh. Yeah, I just wanted you guys to know why I ran in the house so quick. Well, we figured it was something like that. Yeah. I'm going to get a milk. Does anybody want anything? No. No. I will get another milk.
I have not returned your last test papers to you as usual because they were not worth the trouble to return. If I allowed those grades to stand, 90% of this class would fail. I'm going to give you all another chance at the test. But let me warn you, this will be your last opportunity. Study chapters 7 through 14 again. Don't look and at this her. time do it thoroughly. She's looking, but don't look the back. The will be on Friday. She'll know something's wrong. I want you to understand that anyone not passing I didn't this believe test you today. can plan to spend their vacation in school. Maybe they told that her. That's a promise, not a threat. Oh, God, I hope they didn't tell her. for you the other night. Yeah, well, uh, I started watching a spooky movie on TV. I guess I just forgot. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I just have a bad memory. I guess. Hey, John, we got practice. I'll come watch and we can walk home together. I can't. I got something I gotta do. Hey, what about practice? <laughs> practice this afternoon. I didn't go. How come? Well, go ahead. Tell your father. I lost my stuff. You what? I told you he'd lose his things if he kept taking them to school. He just put his bag down and forgot it. Well, did you check in the office? Yeah. Well, they're not going to be replaced. From now on, you'll learn to take care of your things. It'll be a good lesson for you. Alice, you can't play football without equipment. So? Well, I mean, the season's only half over. He's on the winning team. Arnold, the boy, was careless. Now, I thought we decided we'd handle things a little differently. I'm finished. May I be excused? Yes. John, it's trash night. Yes, mother. I want you to check around good in school tomorrow. Maybe you'll turn up. I will. Hey, John. Maybe I can talk her into changing her mind. No, no, sir. I was wrong. I mean, it was my fault for losing the stuff. Yeah. I'd better take the trash out.
Sorry to keep you waiting. I had your son wait in the outer room. I thought it best if we talked privately. Certainly. We've completed all the necessary tests. We haven't found any physical problems with the boy. Meaning it's mental? Well, no. No, that's very unlikely. Some children have a very deep sleep pattern. So deep, in fact, they just can't wake up when they're supposed to. How long does that last? Well, that's hard to say. Doctor, how can you be sure it's that and not just laziness? Or spite, for that matter? Well, no one consciously wants to wet the bed, Mrs. Curtis. Mr. Curtis, did you have a bedwetting problem as a child? What? Well, it's just this sleep pattern I'm talking about is usually hereditary, more so in boys than in girls. No, I, uh, I didn't wet. I did when I was a baby, of course, but that, uh, I see. So, where does that leave us? It's supposed to be hereditary, but in this case it isn't. Well, I said usually hereditary. And I still say he's doing it on purpose. Mrs. Curtis, I'm not qualified to judge that. If you're that concerned, I can put you in touch with a doctor that I'm... Oh, you mean a psychiatrist? Yes. <laughs> doctor, I can tell you exactly what the problem is without a psychiatrist. The boy doesn't care. He's too lazy to get up at night, and he just doesn't care. Now, I don't need a psychiatrist to tell me that. Mrs. Curtis, the boy cares a great deal. Then why doesn't he stop? That's what you're going to have to find out. And embarrassing the boy isn't the answer. What? He's 13 years old. I'm well aware of my son's age. The problem is difficult enough without the additional embarrassment of other children finding out. Putting the boy's sheets out the window isn't the solution. Well, you give me a better solution. Just let the man answer me. Mrs. Curtis, I have given you the only advice I can. Well... You know what you can do with your advice. It's the same with all doctors today. It's never the child's fault. It's always the parent's. I didn't say it was anyone's fault. You didn't have to. You made yourself quite clear. Well, for your information, doctor, I have taken care of that boy for 13 years, and I think I know a little more about him than you do. And I don't need some friend of yours that you're probably going to split the fee with to tell me what's wrong with my own son. All right, in line now. Come on, in line. Now, knock it off and listen in. Tony, that's enough. You've been out here before. Now, behave yourself. Today, we're going to run a mile. Oh. Hey, what are you going to do? Kill me? Hey, if you die, can I football? No. I said listen in. That's four laps around the track, and I'm going to time you. I'm going to add the time of the first boy and the time of the last boy. Add them up, see which gym class has the best time. So don't be dogging it. If you do, you'll do four laps after school. You got it? Oh, All right, we'll start right over here on the track. Line up off the telephone box. Come on, move along. You got a long ways to go. Line up off the box here. Back up, back up there. Come on, fellas. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go! Geronimo!
Susie, get me Coach Sanders, will you, please? Hi, George, this is Fred. Listen, swing your chair around and take a look out the window at the track, will you? Just do it. See that kid way out in front? His name's Curtis, 13-year-old. He's running the mile. I'll tell you for so what. He just did the half mile a second under our school record. Not the junior high school record, George, the senior high school record. George? George? Curtis! John Curtis! Hold on a minute, will you please? Coach Sanders wants a word with you. Uh, uh yes, sir? I understand you're a pretty good runner. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Do you do a lot of running? Well, it's something to do. It could be more than something for you. You ran great times today. You're in the ninth grade, right? Yes, sir. You won't be eligible to run varsity until next year. But right now, you could run practice after school if you wanted to. It'd be good for you. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, I have a lot of studies after school. Well, practice would only take an hour. You'd still have plenty of time to hit those books. Uh, well, I, I have to ask my parents. Hey, I could give them a call if you'd like. No, uh, no, I'll take care of it. it it's my mom, you know, she's not too hot on sports. <laughs> yeah, I know. I understand. I'll leave it up to you. But I'll tell you something, John. You could be a great one. Believe me. Yeah. Well, uh, I gotta go. Uh, thanks, Coach. You bet. The funny kid. I don't even know if he likes to run. You're kidding, he loves it. Anybody who runs like that has to love it. Mmm. The roast is really good. Mm. I'm glad you like it. We ran a mile in gym class today. And I slaughtered the rest of the guys. The high school coach wants me to run with the varsity. He said I'm a real good runner. I told him I'd have to ask you first. It'd only be for an hour after school. I could come home, do my chores, and then go back. It wouldn't take long. Why would you want to do that? Silly to come all the way home first. You can wash your sheet after practice. Well, I don't mind. Well, I do. If you want to run around the school, that's fine with me. But your sheet will hang out that window till you get home. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you like the roast so much? Finish it. I wish he was as anxious to run from his bed to his bathroom. I want some more coffee, do you? Ferner's mother called today. It's Tony's birthday Friday. She's gonna let the boys sleep over and then go to a movie on Saturday. I accepted the invitation for you. For the movie? No, you sleep over and then go to the movie. Mom, you can't do you... as I say. Alice, you know. Just a minute. Uh, John, you're through. Go upstairs. You just listen for a minute. You tell me I'm wrong, the doctor tells me I'm wrong. Well, I have to find out one way or the other. Now, if he goes over to the Furners and has a dry bed, then I'm right and we'll know how to deal with him. If he doesn't, if he wets, then I'll accept it and I'll just have to live with it. In front of his friends. Are you more concerned about his friends or about me? We have to find out the truth. There is no other way. Our next guest is Miss Scarlett Smith. 
Charlotte is a Ooh, secretary, she's... Uh... but her secret desire is to become an actress. Charlotte's measurements are 39, Boy. 24, 37. Jeez, over a yard of lungs. She could hold her breath for days. Oh, you guys. Gosh, how come all the great shows are at midnight? Tony, isn't that horror movie over yet? Uh, it's almost over, Ma. How come it's been over for ten minutes on my set and it's still on on your set? Shut it off! Yes, sir. Nuts. I sure hope that Charlotte What's-Her-Name wins it. Yeah. Someone open a window. It's getting hot in here. Here, I'll, I'll get it. <sighs> hey, aren't you coming to bed? Uh, yeah, yeah, in a minute. Hard to sleep after looking at that Charlotte, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it sure is. I think I'll dream about her. Yeah. Hey, Dumbo, you been there all night? No, I just got up. Uh, I heard a dog barking. Oh, well, come on, it's time for breakfast. Hey, Donnie, come on, oh. get up, start breathing, it's time for breakfast. Oh. Hey, uh, don't make any noise, my mom will bite your head off. the dishes. Fine. Uh, I'm really kind of tired. I, I think I'll go to bed. Go to the bathroom before you turn out your light. Yeah. Uh, John, you were dry at Mrs. Ferner's house. I hope you show me the same courtesy. courtesy to say I was right. Huh? I was right. The boy was dry at Tony. Yes, dear. Then I was right. Yes. I think I'll just give that brilliant doctor a call and let him know. <laughs> she certainly has aged, hasn't she? Uh, John! Uh, hey, John! Uh, oh. Hey, Mr. Rizzi. Uh, where's Nancy? Uh, not in detention, I hope. Oh, no, no, she'll be right out. What do you think of the new car, huh? It's great. <laughs> really great. Uh, Nancy hasn't seen it. I'm going to take her home. Jump in. I'll give you a ride, too. Uh, uh no. Uh, no, Mr. Rizzi, I have some place to go. I'll be happy to drop you off. Yeah, uh, no, really, thanks, Mr. Rizzi. It's not far. Uh, maybe next time.
Want some more coffee? No. What time is it? Going on ten. I don't understand. You never done anything like this. You sure nothing happened today? We both saw him at breakfast. He was fine then. We're going to have to call the police. Arnold, we've called everyone else. Now, nothing's happened to him. No, I didn't say it had. But it's 10 o'clock, and there's nothing else we can do. Now, do you want to call them, or shall I? I'd like the police department, please. Yes, thank you. Hello. My name is Curtis. Curtis. Our 13-and-a-half-year-old boy hasn't come home this evening, and we've... Uh, yes, we live at 111 Collins Avenue. No. No, he's never done anything like this before.
Yes, it is. Yeah, thank God. Yes, I know where it is. Yeah, we'll be right there. Thank, thank you. He's okay. I'm Arnold Curtis. Yes, the boy's in this office. Thank you. You all right? He spent the night in the store. Didn't wreck anything. The manager said to just forget it. Glad to see everything turned out all right. Thank you. Now, would you mind telling us what happened? I had a dry night. What? I slept in a big bed and it was dry. What did the police mean? Gonna be? You spent the night here? How did you know it was going to be? You, you, you mean you just ran off and I spent the knew. night here where your father and I went crazy I worrying at it about and I you? Knew. We were up the whole night. Is that what you were going away? through our minds? Will you answer me that? No, my sheet. I called the school. All Nancy, where is the thought? I but I know I can stop stuff. now. Do you I understand swear me? I know stick it. Stick to my stuff. John, I am speaking to you and I expect an answer. Alice, will you please shut up? I will not shut up. You and... Shut up! I've been answering all the important questions. The trouble is we haven't been listening. Neither of us have been listening. Worse than that, I haven't... I haven't been honest with you, John. See, uh... I used to wet the bed, too. When I was your age. What? Yep. I know I should have told you, but I... I'm sorry. Oh, God, I know. I understand, Dad. Hell. I did it till I was 14. Folks are going to have to clear out. Store opens in 15 minutes. This office is going to get real busy. Okay, we'll wait outside till you open. We're going to buy a new bed. Don't tense up, especially in the upper body. Hey, Coach. Yeah, Curtis, how are you? Fine, sir. I decided to run with the varsity. What about the homework? Yeah, I can handle it. Hey, I'm glad to hear it. Hey, Frankie. Yes, sir? Hey, get Curtis here, set up with sweats and shoes. You bet, Coach. Follow me. Hey, glad to have you with us. Okay, boys, let's go. Hey, Frankie, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Nancy. Uh, uh, where are you going? Home. Uh, you in a hurry? No. Uh, I got practice here for about an hour. Uh, you maybe got some studying you can do here? I thought well, you and me could walk home together. I'll wait. Good deal. Uh, I guess I'll see you in a little while. Yeah. Hey, Curtis! Yeah, Coach? Aren't you dressed yet? Start him now, Coach. I'll catch up to him. Uh, I, I guess I'll see ya. See ya. Yeah.
Okay, ready to stand by. Five seconds. Four, three, two. Good evening. I'm Rafer Johnson. Seated next to me is John Curtis, a young man who has won yet another gold medal for the United States team. John, welcome and congratulations. Thank you very much, Rafer. We're going to run the tape for the finish of that race, the grueling 26-mile marathon. John, look at the monitor over there and see yourself running the victory. How did you feel here? Well, I felt good, Rafer, real good. I knew I had a big lead. I'm just trying to run easy, run relaxed. Were you as fresh as you look? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not, Rafer. That's hard to believe after 26 miles. What is it that makes a man want to run those kind of distances? drive himself like that. Now, if you had to give one reason for your running, what would you say? I guess I have to say I, uh, I owe it to my mom and dad. And I'm sure they're watching out there in California and are pretty proud at this moment. Mr. and Mrs. Curtis, watch your son as he runs for home that last hundred yards. <laughs> 